I started my career, it was, uh, you can tell, not yesterday, uh, long ago with a doctorate in molecular biology. I worked for a very large agribusiness, spent my whole first career there, about 26 years, but then something happened. A couple weeks into retirement, a friend of mine said, hey, you know, um, now that you're not doing anything, would you mentor this turf company? They have a product they want to get into agriculture, but they really don't have ag as their background. And when I asked, so what do they do? And I was told microbials. My first thought was, no, <laughs> that's bugs in a jug. I'm a scientist, come on. Because this was a friend of mine, I said, okay. What I thought I knew is some hotshot scientist and business person with big agribusiness was nothing. It was actually the customers of Holganics, people whose grass you see on television when you turn it on to watch a sporting event, people that really know turf that said, oh, Dave, I use this product and I cut my fertilizer quite a bit. I cut my watering because the roots are deeper. I don't spray nearly as many pesticides because the plant's healthier. And I thought, well, I need to find out what's going on in the soil. And so what I've learned since is amazing. Data shows that about half a fertilizer that's applied to ground never goes to the intended crop. It's wasted, it's very inefficient. Microbes, when I say microbes, remember, diversity is key. Not just bacteria, not just fungi, not just one or two species. Because one teaspoon of healthy soil will have thousands of species of beneficial bacteria, fungi, and protozoa. Over a billion individuals. So you need that biodiversity. And what that, those microbes will do is they will consume the fertilizer, which is a good thing for a while, because they all live within pretty much half an inch of the root zone. So we keep it in the root zone, not in the river, not in the ocean, not in the atmosphere. We keep it where you want it. But it needs to be released. That's where diversity comes in. Bacteria grow incredibly rapidly. So they will consume fertilizer like it's ice cream. But they can also tie it up. But their predators, the fungi, the amoeba, the protozoa, they consume the bacteria keeping the populations in balance, and those uh, microbes have a far lower nutrient requirement, especially nitrogen, than the bacteria. So they're constantly releasing nutrients in the root zone, in the chemical form the plant root wants to take up. This is going to be true whether you're growing turf grass, corn, or an apple tree. It happens in all soil. Other things that the microbes do is they induce rooting. That's a great thing because it's roots plus microbes that build soil. Not so much the stuff we leave on the top of the ground. It's the roots. They break up compaction layers. They make air and water channels because remember, the soil needs air and water. And they also secrete glue that helps hold soil particles together that builds the structure, that builds organic matter, and also cycles the elements like potassium, phosphorus, iron, calcium, et cetera, et cetera, back to the plant. So really, I hear more and more that we need to feed the microbes, and we're right, and all those things are great, but we also have to make sure the right microbes are in the soil, and they're not always there. Things happen all the time that change these populations. Organics Bio 800 Plus is the complete healthy microbiome in one shot that healthy soil needs.